Hello world, my name is Keon, and if you're not having a good day, then I have some good news for you that might actually help you have a good day. Today, ZBrush kind of simultaneously announced and released their newest iteration of ZBrush called ZBrush 4 R4. This is the fourth upgrade to ZBrush 4, and it is full of features, and I think everybody should check it out at least once. I will be making a video about this after I've learned and installed everything. Only problem is I'm neck deep in schoolwork right now. But if you do have some time, go over to the link provided in the description below and check out all the new features. There are plenty of them. They got the new QR measure, which looks really interesting. A uh, bunch of new topology features, which is something everybody's been asking for to have a new topological brush. So you can now do retopologizing in ZBrush more efficiently. In theory, though, I haven't had a chance to try this out myself, so when I do get a chance, probably going to be happening sometime around Wednesday, unfortunately, I will make a video and try to get acquainted with the new features as soon as I possibly can, because this looks really interesting. Another thing to point out is that they finally, finally fixed the transpose tool. For those who aren't familiar with the transpose tool, it's uh, something within ZBrush that you use to rotate, scale, and move stuff around. For me, personally, it's always been somewhat of a guessing game because it just is. Like, you have to move things around this way, but it's weird to describe. You have to use it to know what I'm talking about. Even when you do use it, it's hard to describe. But they've added, you know, X, Y, Z arrows so people could understand a little bit better where things are going. So that's going to help a lot. And naturally, they've made improvements to the things that they've already included, such as Dyner Mesh, Fiber Mesh, and Subtools. So that's always a plus. But yeah, if you've already purchased ZBrush at any time in the program's history, this is a free upgrade to you. I'm not sure how much the program costs now. I think it's around $700. And I'm not sure how... St Whoa, I got hair on my glasses. Yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I'm not sure how much the program costs now, but I'm pretty sure it's around 700 bucks. I bought it when it was 600 so I got lucky. But buy it now before it gets any higher because this program is only going to get better. Personally, my favorite 3D tool all around for art and for everything else, of course, it's going to be 3D at Studio Max. But for art, I think ZBrush is the best sculpting tool out there. So go ahead, give it a chance, look it up when you have a moment, download it legally, of course, and have fun with it. I'll be making a video soon, and hopefully, I'll have fun with that. A lot of people seem to have a love hate relationship with the last video, and I'm not sure why, but it's cool. Uh, hopefully, I'll make this one a little bit more informative rather than just fun. But that's what ZBrush is all about. You know, I know it's a professional tool, but have fun with it. As soon as you start like not having fun with art, that's when things just get boring and you start losing passion for things. If you don't believe me, ask anyone who's married. Thank you for watching, folks. Tune in next time. Comment, critique, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.